Good morning. It's day 50. I don't know why that's so exciting, but it's day 50. I am uh, leaving camp. I just got packed up. I uh, met a gentleman last night that I attended with at a remote uh, site past the uh, shelter. His name is Zipper. He's a truck driver, Pennsylvania. So we had a, a little discussion this morning. Uh, he did share a little bit of his uh, ramen with me and a couple snacks because uh, he heard heard me do the video the last video that uh, I was running short <clears throat> and I was trying to get to Parisburg uh, in a more timely manner so I could get my resupply so he did a little trail magic for me so I appreciate it uh, zipper thank you very much it was good uh, getting to know you and I'm sure I'll run into you uh, again later today but uh and he didn't snore too much or too loud, so that was good. It was just the two of us at the site. But it uh, today is April the 29th. Uh, the weather is starting to warm up a little bit more than uh, it has been. And hopefully every day it will get warmer and warmer and not too hot. But uh, we're packed up and we're heading down the road. We have... Uh, I tented at a remote spot like at 604.2 or something to that nature, but it was near a creek, so we had water. Uh, we're at a road crossing now. Uh, and it looks like we're walking down the road a little bit. I was thinking maybe there might be some trail magic here today, but no trail magic. There's no parking lot, but so I got a vehicle coming up, so hopefully it doesn't hit me. But anyway, today's uh, going to be a good day. It started sprinkling this morning at uh, four-ish, but it didn't stay around, so that was good. That was the Virginia Department of Transportation. But anyway, I'm gonna hit the trail and talk to you guys later. That actually looks like they were going to stop there for a minute at this parking lot, but they decided not to. State workers out doing what state workers do. Hey guys, we're coming up uh, to this suspension bridge. This is pretty uh, pretty cool. There's two big uh, cables coming over here. And what I thought was trail magic is not trail magic, I don't believe. I think they're just camping. Look at this baby go. Whoa! And we got Chef coming down. And Tiki. And there's the, the bridge. These steps don't shake. I think we got some trail magic here. Do you want to introduce yourself? Hi, I'm Paint Splash. I paint murals on the Appalachian Trail. I always have a cold soda for a hiker. And or some breakfast if you're hungry. Why do you do this? Um, because I live out here and I'm one of you guys. Oh, so you're a through hiker? Or yeah, so a hiker? Uh, okay. I, I, so. I hiked in 2018 and ever since then I've been traveling the trail painting murals. Cool. And uh, when I'm not painting, I'm... At, hanging out at trailheads doing trail magic well we appreciate it so thank you very much oh you're welcome um and you your puppy like soda? I take soda, yeah. 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 what you want uh, i have dr pepper all right guys we're uh heading back on the trail we stopped at this uh gas station in the middle of nowhere it's uh i can't read what it is anyway it's just a little gas station they had a resupply uh i i won the lottery i think because I, instead of getting a hot meal, I bought a pack of eight hot dogs and a pack of buns. And the buns were more than the hot dogs, so. But anyway, I got two Mountain Dews, eight hot dogs, eight hot dog buns, and a honey bun. And it was like $10.25. And uh, I asked the guy if I could use his microwave to microwave a couple of the hot dogs and he said i'll just uh deep fry them that way they'll, they'll be fully cooked and they'll taste like they're grilled so 
he went ahead and uh, done three of them for me. And I ate those three. And then I was like, I've got these uncooked hot dogs. Let me uh, just see if he will go ahead and cook them. So I went back in and said, hey, do you mind dropping these in? So he went ahead and cooked them all. So now I've got uh, four more hot dogs. Uh, I did have five, but I ended up eating another one. So I had four hot dogs for lunch and a honey bun and about seven eighths of a Mountain Dew. But now I'm heading back on trail. I've got about a half a mile to walk to get there. Uh, all the guys that I was hiking with met back up with their family. <clears throat> so they're hiking with them. Uh, it's about a group of 10, but uh, it's a pretty good sized family. Anyway, I had a good conversation this morning with them. Uh, the two that I was hiking with, which was Chef, which was the guy with the uh, dark beard, and then uh, Tiki, who had the uh, lay on. But they're both interesting individuals. It was good to get to know them. And I've been hiking around them for several weeks, but never really had the opportunity to, to talk to them because when you're in your tramway, they you sort of stay in your tramway and don't really reach out. So they were both individually walking this morning and they uh, picked up their pace just a slight bit so they could stay with me. And in doing so, they caught back up with their tramway here at lunch. So anyway, uh, I'm gonna get off here because I hear a semi tractor or something coming. So let me uh, get on the other side of the road so I don't get hit by them. But also I need to watch my back that nobody gets me there. So this is a semi coming. There you go. I like it when the truckers do it. I don't know why. Such a kid. But anyway, that smelled like silage. Uh, so I guess they're getting uh, animal food or something, supplements for their animals. This melt uh, pretty, uh, not ripe, but fermented. So like oats or something that's fermented. So I know a lot of farmers use hops uh, and stuff from breweries. It is a waste product for the brewery, but for the uh, farmers, they can feed that to their animals or supplement feed their animals. But all right. I'm uh, hiking back to the trail and we'll get back on soon. Talk to you later. I got a full tummy. All right, we're coming up on a sign here. Let's see what it says. Dismal Falls, 0.3 miles. So let's go uh, check that out. So we're hiking a quarter mile off trail to a uh, blue blaze that's uh, a waterfall it's called dismal waterfall so i'm taking a, a half mile round trip to go see a waterfall so hopefully it's worth it i passed uh gumby and professor and tiki and they said it was dismal and it was worth it so they're heading back i saw all their packs and I couldn't figure out what was going on and then i saw the sign for the waterfalls so it's coming up, so here we go. It's pretty cool. It's a great swimming hole. Looks like it's uh, maybe uh, 10 foot deep and then maybe 15 or 20. This is the waterfall, Dismal Falls. Part of the trail right here. God's beauty, more water. It's good to hear that waterfall sound. I uh, left the waterfall and met up with a gentleman 
He's from Pensacola, Florida, that uh, we're hiking with and just uh, having fellowship and, and talking together. So that's enjoyable. 6.10 miles. I don't know. This is uh, Steps. He is from Florida, Lower Alabama. Nice little bridge here, a little wiggly. Yeah. All right, we're gonna pass the shelter and keep going. This is only about 10 miles in today uh, that I met up with at the waterfalls. I've uh, been around them for several days if not weeks, but didn't uh, or haven't had the opportunity to get to know him. So I slowed my pace down and just building a relationship. So it was good talking to them. They're uh, some nice Christian brothers. So we talked a little bit about religion. We talked about politics. We talked about insurance because Birdman uh, is a insurance agent down in Florida with a family owned company his family and then uh steps is 65 and there's a prosecutor in florida and he's a long distance runner has done a lot of the hiking trails uh long distance ones and there's one he was talking about that he has i think it's 700 miles more to do but it's like a 5,000 mile trail which interweave Black tail deer. What do you think, buddy? Huh? Are you doing all right? Huh? What do you think? I don't have anything to give you. Okay, I've looked at the map. Uh, I've got a shelter in 2.1 miles. It is uh, 7:30. That would get me there about 8:40. I think that's doable. Uh, and then that will also put me. Uh, if I do that, then tomorrow I'll have about seven and a half to eight miles to get into Parisburg, where I think I'll take, uh, a half a day off or whatever, and maybe resupply and just chill out. I'll also try to get a hold of a friend, uh, from my church, an elderly guy, uh, Earl, and see if he wants to come and join me because he's dying to buy me a steak dinner, so... I'll uh, see if I can reach out to him and let him know I'll be in there uh, around 1 o'clock. So we'll see what happens. I'm going to uh, get back on the trail. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye. Well, I had a little cell phone signal, so I was able to reach out to my friend uh, Earl. And he and his wife, Robin, are going to come and visit me and treat me to a meal. So they're going to try to meet me in Parisburg, Virginia around 2 p.m. So that will be a nice treat. I'm also trying to get uh, my wife to see if she can get my Be Free filter and bag and replacement hiking tips with uh, to them so they could bring that uh, with me or to them so they can bring them to me. There you go. But uh, now... I have something to look forward to tomorrow. I believe it is supposed to rain, but if I can make it to the shelter tonight, that will put me about eight miles, eight and a half miles from town. And I should be able to hike uh, the eight, nine miles and have basically a half a day off. 
and just sort of chill out. But that's if uh, I can get to this shelter tonight. If not, it'll be a 10 mile day tomorrow, which again, it's not that big a deal. Hey guys, as I'm trying to get to the shelter before nightfall, there was a sign that said view. And I decided that I would only be here probably one time in my life, so I'd go check it out. So look at this view. beautiful view. So I'm very glad that I uh, stopped and took a glance. Uh, it is truly amazing. Look at that. Just amazing, amazing, amazing. So, all right, I'm on Mosey on. I got one more mile to go before I get to camp and it's gonna be probably dark. All right guys, we're coming into the shelter. The shelter has a deck and I forget what else, amenities, but let's go in here and see if we can find a tent spot and be quiet. I may have to do this tomorrow. Little sitting area. Ew. Actually, it looks like no one is here. Ow! All right, you witnessed me falling. So, no one is actually here. So let me uh, see what I'm gonna do. Oop. Well guys, it's nightfall, but I rolled into the shelter and I'm the only one here. So it is a deck, a picnic table, and the shelter, uh, let's try to see the shelter in here. So I am just gonna stay in this shelter tonight and that way I don't have to pack up a tent. I think it is supposed to rain a little bit tomorrow. I'm glad I'm somewhat short because I just about hit my head. But uh, yeah, so let me go in here. So I'll just uh, bed down uh, in here tonight. It looks pretty decent. Uh, we got uh, bear cat and cougar and coyote, if you wanna call them. But uh, anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and get my tent, or not my tent, but my uh, air mattress and everything set up down here. And go ahead and eat the uh, hot dogs that I packed out since I'll be eating lunch in town tomorrow and then Earl and them are taking me out to eat as well. So I'll talk to you guys later. This ends day 50 and give me a moment and I'll see how far I've come today. Well, I just checked on gut hook and I've come 24.4 miles today. So that's pretty good. I wasn't anticipating doing this much, but this puts me much closer to Parisburg tomorrow and things will be much easier uh, getting into town because it's only about eight miles. So I don't have to rush and uh, looks like I'm meeting Earl and them around two o'clock. So I'll see you guys later on. And remember, YOLO, you only live once. So do it right the first time. There's no need to do it again. Have a good night and God bless.